Okay, so let's look at how we're going to put together our cash flow <coughs> statement. So now I've got my operating activities. And it'll be uh, receipts from customers. Now my receipts from customers was this figure here, 290,700. So I'll tick that one off. 290,700. My payments to suppliers. My payments to suppliers we calculated down here of 159,600. And I'm going to bracket that to indicate it's a payment. My other items are operating expenses. Which I'm getting here from 78,300. Um, I'll tick that one off. Interest expense. Interest paid. 4,500. And tax expense. Or tax paid. Of 13,500. Now I can put a title on that. Uh, inflows and outflows comes back to 34,800. There you go, 34,800. That's my operating activities. Next is my investing activities. Now my investing activities, we sold land at cost for 7,500. Uh, land proceeds. $7,500, which was inflow. So I can tick that item off. And machinery purchase. Which was 18,000. Any others? No. So that gives me 10,500, which is an outflow, <coughs> and my financing activities. Financing activities. Uh, long term note. It was 15,000, which is a decrease. Dividends. Paid. We're 12,900. And ordinary shares were issued for cash. There's 15,000 coming in. Which gives me 12,900 
cash out by. Now my net cash flow is 34,800 minus 10,500 minus 12,900 equals 11,400. And that's a positive cash flow. Now the litmus test. Opening cash balance. So my opening cash balance is 6,600, and you can't see where I just scribbled. So I've got 6,600 as my opening cash balance. 6,600. And if I add those two together, I get 18,000, which is my closing cash balance. Which is that number there, so I can know if I'm right. So that's my cash flow statement. Just pop my pen there. Thank <laughs> you.